Hello everyone, welcome in my channel ASP.NET Core. Today I'm going to show you uh, how to enable paging uh, of your records or you can say uh, paging uh, in ASP.NET Core. So create a new project and uh, first of all uh, um, add a model class that is a student and in which you model class you can add some data by using scaffolding and the old things uh, you know very well about uh, uh, how to add uh, data in database by using code uh, in ASP.NET Core. So just uh, uh, I'm taking a uh, student class okay in the in which you can add a data context class new folder data context class actually uh, paging what is the meaning of the paging uh, if you want to uh, restrict the size of the page uh, and you don't want to scroll your uh, vertical scroller uh, by fetching the records then you can use paging actually paging uh, is working on uh, three types uh, uh, you can say um, the paging is working on three uh, uh, on three data the first one is the source um, on which you can apply the pagings. The second one is the page index. The third one is the page size and uh, total number of pages. Also, you can say the fourth thing you can mention in the paging. The first thing is the source. Uh, the second one is the page index that is one, two, three, four, five and total page size is mentioned uh, based on the uh, page size and the total number of records you want uh, you fetch from your database table so there is the fourth thing okay now after uh, you getting the four things uh, what algorithm to use uh, in the paging uh, here we have only the two method used on uh, applied on the source that is the skip method and the take methods I want uh, I want to display the second uh, index item I meant to say that a page index when you select the page index 2 the page size skipped I mean to say that suppose your page size is 5 and you come to the page index 2 then the five pages will skip and the six will start on your uh, the first uh, occurrence that is the logic so skip five pages if you uh, suppose if you come on uh, the three third index then what then uh, if your page size is five then ten records will skip and eleven record uh, eleventh records is the first occurrence okay that is the third index on the third index so what is the logic behind this the logic behind this is the page size is matter page size minus one if suppose your page index is one okay so what is the page size what uh, here is the page size is five okay now the page index minus one that is the algorithm the page index minus one multiply page size so the page index suppose you uh, you are on page index one so one minus one is zero zero multiply page size that is the skip that is the first occurrence okay so suppose you you are on the page index two so two minus one is the one multiply page index that is the skip method you can use so five records will skip and the take only the page size that is okay that is the logic behind the uh, paging so uh, after uh, inserted record into the controller you can use scaffolding to add controller in the folder now that is clear you know all things are clear now add record into the students and after that uh, we can apply the paging on your records 
so first of all add some records into the student table that is like a a b a b c and etc so one by one records uh, you can add uh, multiple records and your database table like thousands records and that thousand records split it into the pages that is calling the paging list or you can say enable paging list okay now after that video i will cure uh, how to filter data and how to short data okay so this is the thing okay now that's fine now after that the the man logic inside in the paging list class so add a new class in the model folder that is the paginated list paginated list and that class is the type of model so type of t here you can use and paginated list is class is inherited with the list of t class i mean to say that any class you can insert it here in which you can add the page index and the total page size okay total pages how to calculate the total pages you can calculate that total number of pages inside the constructor <laughs> constructor so paginated list uh, have with the list of t items count and page index and the page size integer page size so what is this items items is the retrieving uh, data from the database table you can say and the count uh, property is used where your uh, total number of items uh, in the database table that is meaning of the count and the page index is when you select uh, any pages like one two three and the page size is the matter how many records will display on a single page that is the page size so page index is directly inserted into the page index uh, variable and the total pages uh, what uh, that is the use math dot selling functions and count number of records divided by page size how many records will display on your pages on single page so divide so uh, calculate the total number of pages now after that you can add that uh, uh, items in the list class so that is items in the paginated list of class okay now here you uh, can add two other pro uh, boolean property that is the previous page and the next page previous page decide if your page index is greater than one then previous page will display otherwise disabled next page the pre page index is lower than total number of pages then the next page will show otherwise next page is hidden so now after that you can create the man method uh, uh, that is create async method uh, task of paginated list i want to return the paginated list of t and you can add it here uh, create async method in which you can add i curable data i curable of t in which you can add students and integer uh, page size uh, page index you can add page index and that last one is the page size okay so you can get total number of pages is already uh, calculated so first of all count the uh, uh, how many uh, how uh, how many records uh, exist in the database table so you can use where count equals to await source dot count async actually the c is a capital in the async method so you can use it here count async okay so so count async method 
now after that you can uh, in the item what is the item that is the source dot skip that is the man logic here it skips i mean to the page index minus one multiply the page size okay and dot take uh, that is the skip and dot take what that is the page size dot to list okay now again call paginated list dot return new paginated list of t in which you can add items count and the page index and page size so the thing is cleared now after that uh, come to the section of the controller again and student controller here you can pass page number so uh, call create async method of paginated uh, list so paginated list of student dot create async in which you can pass iqable data of the students dot context dot students get all the students by using this context dot students and the page number is also there so page number equals to one page number and the last one is the page size so consider the five is the default page size okay in the index dot html file add this thing previous disabled is equals to model dot previous disabled previous page not exist then disabled otherwise enabled so in the uh, uh, change the uh, enumerable with the paginated list because a paginated list have previous and the next page boolean property now after that you can uh, route the page numbers thank you very much for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to asp.net core and i will uh, show you how to work paginated list in ESP.NET Core in later video sessions. Thank you very much for watching.